Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby if you're new here and today I'm going to be showing you all the plants that I bought in October and in November. And before we get into the video, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it, thumbs down if you don't. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It'd be really, really helpful for me. I'm trying to hit the 1000 subscribers. So it's a little um, goal that I have at the moment. So it'd be really, really appreciated if you could. So I'll start with the, the plants that I bought from my local market. I bought them in October. Um, since then, I've actually done some repotting of them, which I showed in my last week's video. Um, so the first um, plants that I bought were these Neon Robusta Syngonium. Um, I actually bought six individual um, pots and they were, I think it was two for three pounds. Um, so I really couldn't pass up on the opportunity. And I repotted them all into this amazing terracotta pot. Um, I watered it just after and it's actually still wet, which is a bit weird that it's held on to the little amount of water I gave it. But I'm just keeping a close eye on it. But other than that, they seem really, really happy in this. And I think they're really beautiful. Um, I did repot them. So one of the um, ne neon robusta that I've had for a while um, was in the middle because it was a lot taller. Um, and everything else is around there. But I, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. I love the pink leaves. Um, they're just so prominent at the moment. And then you've kind of got like a, like a shimmery, like green underside, which I think is so pretty as well. It's a really nice contrast. So it's not all pink, but yeah, that was one of the first ones that I bought. So I then bought these two um, variegated prickly pear cactus. Um, so they originally came in this um, this little pot, but I, I think I was going to gift this to someone, but I'm not um, I'm not sure yet. It's just like it's a Christmas present. I'm just seeing how they go. Um, but I put one in just a normal terracotta pot and I just I think they're so pretty. These again, were really cheap. They were um, I think it was two for six pounds. So they're more than the Syngonium, but I didn't mind because I think the variegation on them is so unique. You see how unusual that is. And I haven't actually seen a variegated um, prickly pear. And they were just so, so sweet. And I just felt like I wanted to rescue them because they didn't look like they were in the best condition when I picked them up. But I've kind of like, um, they're a bit dry actually. They seem, they almost seem like they're in that like really, really fake um, soil, you know, like the glue stuff. Um, but yeah, I picked them up because they were kind of at the bottom at the back and they were they were just a plant that I that caught my eye. And I just think they, yeah, they're just like a really, really sweet little plant. I do wonder whether they will eventually flower. I mean, at the top, you can see they're like a little pink. So I do wonder, but it won't be for a while and it depends on how happy I can keep them, I suppose. But yeah, I thought they were so pretty and really cheap and I can pass them up. So they were the second plants that I bought in October. So I will then take you on to a order that I actually, I've actually shown um, already. So I did it in my um, plants.com unboxing and review kind of thing. Um, so if you've seen that, that video already, you will know the plants that I'm talking about. The first one was this Syngonium Red Arrow. This is a plant that is just titled Red Arrow and I'm I'm certain that's not the, the, the name for it. I'm sure there's like another fancier name um, and I'll try to find that and put it on the screen but at the moment I know this by the Red Arrow. It's got amazing like dark um, green foliage on the top side and then the underside is like a really striking like a reddy colour when um, which is where they get the Red Arrow from. But I, um, I repotted this last weekend, like you probably could have seen already. And it was, it was feeling after I repotted it really limp. Um, the leaves weren't like prominent like this. It, it was started to take a bit of a turn and I was starting to get a bit nervous about it actually. Um, because when I repotted it, it was in like a really, really hard um, nursery pot. So there were cuttings and someone had put them into like a small nursery pot to keep them stable and like in control and then it was potted up and then the roots were completely like just tangled up in this really crazy like nursery pot. I've never seen anything that hard before like being used for that kind of um, thing so normally I would expect them to take it out of it and then repot it when they upsize it but they hadn't which is 
which is totally fine. It's probably plants.com supplier that um, supplied them in that um, way, to be honest. Um, but yes, yeah, so it, it felt damp and I was just thinking, well, it's, it's taken a turn and it's already got wet soil. So I, I risked it by watering it and I did water it and it's it sprung back to life again. So yesterday night I watered it and it seems okay again, which is so, so lucky because I don't know, I feel really attached to this plant. I really like it. It's my only Syngonium that trails as well. Um, but yeah, a really simple one and a really, really underrated Syngonium, I'm going to say. I just love how um, unique it is. So there was that one. So another plant I bought from plants.com was this, here it is, this amazing Anthurium. And I am still so in love with this plant. I think it's stunning. I am really worried about it declining though. Um, so I'll show you in a minute the marks that I'm talking about, but it's got this amazing flower. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but it's it's literally just, um, nothing really much is happening. I know that they can, I've seen them when they're in the mature state and you can eventually um, take seeds from them and obviously um, germinate them, but mm, I don't think it's gonna happen with this one. It's just so, I don't think it's in the optimum conditions for it to be at that level, but it's still beautiful nevertheless. Um, so yes, it's got three leaves. Um, they still do have the sticky stuff on it and believe you me, this is a lot better than it was. Um, I think, how did I try? I tried water and it didn't come off. Then I tried, um, someone suggested something else and I really can't remember what it was, but it worked a little bit more. Um, I think it was citrus um, juice. I think it was like lemon juice. I squeezed a little bit of lemon juice and water. Um, and then someone else had Marcella water, which I've not tried yet. Um, but yeah, it's it's got this velvety like textured leaves. I just think it's so pretty. I love the way the lobes touch at the top as well. I just think it's such a cute plant. Um, but the thing that I noticed the other day, which I'm worried about, um, is are these marks here. So it kind of looks like it's um, it's potentially like, I don't know, spider mite damage. So the story with the other plants that I got from there, well, one of them is that it did have spider mites um, and there was definitely damage on the other one I'll show you. So. I am concerned about this one, um, but I'm going to take a, um, like keep a close eye on it and just watch it. At the moment, I'm keeping it in a position where it gets light um, from one side of the room, so I'm turning it because I ideally want all these leaves to face the same way. But again, that's just more from my preference. It can grow the way it wants. I'm sure it will be absolutely fine. Um, but yes, it's this beautiful anthurium, and I am still very, very pleased with this plant. And then the final plant I bought from plants.com was this beautiful variegated Syngonium. This was a wishlist plant. It was my ultimate wishlist plant, um, adjacent to the Philodendron Golden Dragon, but a particular form, like a really, really mature form. Um, and I was feeling really, um, I was feeling really brave when I ordered it. So I would, I think this is the most I've ever spent on a plant. And well, it is the most I've ever spent on a plant. And it, it obviously it's stunning. It hasn't disappointed. I mean, this is still my most favorite leaf. I think it's stunning. Um, but I am, I am again rapidly seeing it decline. Um, I've shown this off before, but it doesn't really pick it up on camera. I don't know if my iPhone 11, whatever it is, isn't that good. Um, but there's a lot of damage here and um, the new leaves um, are also damaged. And I do think that, um, well, it, it did have spider mites. I think I've got them. Well, saying that, I've just seen something crawling on there. Um, you can see it moving. Ew. Um, so I don't, th there's definitely something wrong with this plant and I can't quite put my finger on it. Um, I did say in the video when I repotted this that I had this for three weeks before it was repotted and I wouldn't naturally repot a plant. Um, one at this time of year and two um, so soon after receiving it in the post. But it, it was in a pot that after three weeks of having it, it was still in such dense substrate. It was like, it was more of a compost than anything else. Like it was a really, really weird choice like of soil. Um, so I did repot it because I thought that 
leaving it in that could lead to root rot and I think that's another reason why I'm seeing them decline. So you can see this leaf here, it's going completely brown and it's it's just curling in and it's just dying slowly which again I need to keep saying that I completely understand and appreciate the white parts of the leaves do eventually do that and um, so I do I do get that but yeah it's just it is declining but I will I am keeping a close eye on it and I do think that repotting it um, was definitely the best choice for this plant. Okay so this next plant I bought from eBay it was it was definitely more of a um, I don't know, again, I was feeling quite, um, I don't know what the word is, because it wasn't expensive, it was £5 plus postage, so it came to like just under £10, um, and yeah, I wouldn't normally make such a rash decision, <laughs> and again, it really wasn't expensive, but this used to be a three-leaf cutting, it used to be amazing, and this is a variegated Maranta plant, um, I feel really silly spending that kind of money on it because when I received it, it was in the post for, um, he sent it second class. Um, and I've never understood why people do that with plants. Um, I certainly would never do that. Um, so he sent it second class and he packaged it up. So the roots were dry when they got to me, they really weren't looked after. And the other two leaves just died a tragic death, which was no surprise. And I was particularly mentally clocked out and done with this. Um, it was really stressing me out. Then it got a new growth point really quickly, which is the tiniest leaf you can ever imagine. It's so it's so cute, but it's so small. Um, and it's like, it's just really, really small. But then it's got this other growth point here. Um, and I think that's really cool. Um, the, the roots are really, really established. I can't really like, I don't know, can't really say anything bad about that. The roots are fantastic. Um, but yeah, the the other two leaves that were actually really highly variegated and beautiful, just completely like crisped up and then died like within the day. I mean, one of them was already completely dead, but it was quite sad to see that. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really, really pretty plant. And I just love the pattern on it. I just think it's so stunning. Um, I did see a, the actual, the shop where I bought a lot of these other plants I'm about to show you. They had a variegated Maranta plant and it was, it was, it was a big plant and it was like, I think it was like 10 pounds, 11 pounds and she was doing a sale. And for some stupid reason, like the day I'm not like trolling like on Instagram, I'm just like, looking for like amazing like um i think trolling is the wrong word actually i think trolling is more of like a, i'm bullying people but when i was like scrolling on instagram and i usually love looking at inspiration for other plants and i just really enjoy like the plant instagram community i'm actually never on my personal instagram anymore whatsoever which is really nice actually it's nice to kind of be in a place where i enjoy and um, rather than see random people's lives and stuff um but the one day i wasn't on it because i was i think i was out for a walk or something i can't remember um she she did um have a few and she was selling them off for really cheap and they were big plants and i i could see she had put it on her stories and it was like 11 hours ago and i was like definitely gone and she also had an anthurium for £10 as well. And I was like, uh -huh. um, but yeah, I did miss them. But I got the other plants um, that I'll show you now. But yeah, I was gutted I missed that because I really, really want a big one of these. But yeah, if anyone sees like a fully established plant that again doesn't cost a million pounds, I'm going to say £15 and under because I know that's probably not realistic and I get that. But that's what I would be comfortable paying for it. Then let me know. <laughs> So the first plant that I bought from this, um, this shop, which is called The Plant Market, and they are kind of local, they're not really too close to me, but they do deliver. Um, and I think I paid eight pounds for delivery just because of like petrol and everything. Um, so the delivery option was so helpful because otherwise I couldn't have got there because I have no car. Um, it was this um, string of turtles. And I, I was literally like taken like away with how cute this plant is it's so beautiful um the leaves are literally just like these really plump um like tortoiseshell kind of like i don't know they're just like really really thick they're like little um little sweeties um they're just you see how like they're kind of like really like 3d and thick and um, i i just love this i think this is so pretty um 
I was so, so happy with this. And look how cute the little ones are down here. They're just the cutest thing. Um, but I got this um, in that sale that I was talking about. I think I paid £10 for this one. Um, I, I don't know if it's smaller or bigger than I expected, if I'm honest. I think it's a really, really healthy, big plant. So I'm really happy with it. I've just never seen this in person to know if that price is good. Uh, but considering it was in a sale, I can't remember what it used to be before. Um, her sale prices were really um, good compared to, um, and the retail prices are good as well, but they were, they were, I think it was about maybe 30% off, maybe more, but they were nevertheless a really, really good deal. Um, so yes, I got this one and I'm very, very happy with it. I would have more if I had the space and two could justify it, but they're just so adorable. I think this one's getting a little dry. I think it needs a drink, which it probably does. And I've only had it for about three days, but when I got it, it was um, it had been watered and now it's obviously going a bit dry. And I'm starting to see that they're, they're sitting um, flatter than they were. So it's good that it's already shown me an indication that it needs a drink, which I really appreciate when they do that. So the next plant I got from her and it's, I just, it's so cute. It's this amazing peperomia. It's called a bambino. Um, and it's got this cute little tag here, just to remind me what it's called. But this is a really beautiful, um, kind of like silvery, it's almost like a little metallic looking. Like it's got like a blue sheen and it's so, so sweet. I think it's adorable. It was 2 99 for this, or was it, I think it was two for five pounds, which is a really good price. I don't know why I didn't get two. Um, I really wish I did, but they're so, so sweet. And I just need to find a little pot for this guy to go in. Um, I had quite a few, but I've just um, given away some plants that were actually in the pot this size, which I think they were like um, really pretty anthropology pots, but the plant looks so good in it. I didn't want to unpot it and then um, keep the pot, but yeah, I need some more pots this size. But yeah, there's this lovely um, peperomia and I'm really, really pleased with this. So the next thing I got from the plant market is this amazing Marvel Queen Pothos. And a friend on Instagram actually um, sent me a really beautiful cutting of a Marvel Queen when I did my wish list um, plant list. And I said a Marvel Queen was one of, um, was on my wish list and she kindly sent me um, a cutting. So we did a plant swap. And I love it. I loved it so much. I've, I've wanted a bigger one since. It's actually made me want a fuller plant more because it's so pretty and I love just checking on it. Um, the one she gave me is more like this, like really, really heavily variegated. Um, and this is a bit, um, it, I mean, it's it's seriously heavily variegated, but you've obviously, the newer leaves are looking more green. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pot the cutting that she gave me up in here somewhere where um, I can. I do need to get a new pot for it because it sits quite low. And if I did place the cuttings in there, I think they would get lost in there. Um, but you can see it's at the point where it's going to start trailing, which is super exciting. Um, but for this one, I paid, um, I think it was eight pounds. So I think it was like a really, really reasonable price. Um, that's why I couldn't like, like pass the opportunity up. But I currently have this one next to, I've had a little rearrange, but I've had this one next to my neon robust, um, not neon robust, my own um, um, neon um, pothos, which is under a DIY grow light over there. So it is really enjoying it then. It's looking super healthy. So the second to last plant is this Ripsalis. Ah, I think this is one of the coolest plants I own. Is also from the plant market. Um, I think this one was, I think this one was nine pounds. Uh, I've cut all the, um, not damaged, but I've cut all the, the bad kind of parts off it. Cause there was, there was quite a few leaves that were looking like this, which is probably why it was in a sale. Um, but I've given them all a trim and just left the ones that have it on a tiny bit that aren't, that don't bother me. Um, but I have this above my sink, so it gets a really, really good amount of humidity. Um, it's in an area, um, as you can see in this top corner, that is quite um, poorly lit. Um, so I'm going to do another kind of um, DIY um, plant um, 
area so I'm, I'm gonna need to get a um what is it called i'm gonna need to get a grow light bulb and then the cord that i can just kind of like hang it over so i don't actually need to put it in my light fit my light fitting um just so i can position this light bulb where i want on that shelf rather than use the the spotlights that are in the kitchen um but yeah it definitely needs more light where it is because it is a bit dark and if i didn't be if i wasn't using my new ring lights i'd be sat in darkness right now it's it's honestly that dark and miserable in here and it's like half past 11 in the morning so it's not it's not a good um amount of light for it but i'm sure it will hold up until i get that sorted um the new growth grows in like really really um bright green and a friend actually has this um, and she had it closest to the light in the summer and it went like a really beautiful pink. I see if um, I can use her photo and I'll insert it here somewhere um, to show you but that is my goal for this one. I want it to look that pretty, I want it to look that sun stressed. So fingers crossed next summer it is still as happy as this and it kind of goes a little blushy pink for me. And my final plant, which is also from the plant market, is this next fruit salis. I I've seen these like all over the internet. I I saw them in person when I did my um, when I was abroad with my family, um, and I went to go visit them. And I did my thirtieth birthday come plant shopping with me. They had loads of these, and they were huge and they were so cheap, and I couldn't. Like there was no way I could bring it back on the plane with me, so I left it. But as soon as I saw that, and honestly, the moment I saw them, I fell in love with them. I love them so much. They're so weird. I call them salad fingers. I don't know if anyone saw that as a kid. Like this, like a really, really creepy like cartoon, and he's just like got really weird salad fingers. They're a bit like mine actually. They're really bony and weird looking. <laughs> um, but I'll um, yeah, I'll put a picture on the screen if you if you have seen the cartoons of kid, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, it's really weird. It's um, it's kind of got a really unusual pa growing pattern. So in here, you've got leaves that look really different um, to like this part of it. And I think that's really cool. Um, there's nothing really to say about this plant other than it is just incredibly odd and weird looking. And I really, really like that. It sits on top of my wardrobe. Um, it's a wardrobe I don't often need to go in, which is good because the position I've got it is kind of like, in, it kind of like dangles down in front of it. So I kind of have to move it every time I need to go in there, which is fine. Cause like I say, it's, it's my wardrobe, not my husband's. And I don't often go in there. It's got all my work clothes in there. And considering I don't work in my work clothes anymore, then the wardrobe's not in use. So yeah, he can sit there and take pride of place. And I just really like it. I just think it's so cool. Um, yeah, I think this is probably, along with the other Rip Salis, and yeah, I think this is probably the, the nicest of the bunch because I just think it's like so different to anything I've got. And I think that's the difference. Like everything else that I've got, I love. Like I've got a wishlist plant in this haul. I've got, well, I've got two wishlist plants in this haul actually. Um, but I just, this is weird. And we were like weird. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there was, that was the final one and I have to say, in regards to the plant market, um, I, I felt really, really good buying from the plant market because one, they're a local-ish business and two, they're a small business. So from my understanding, and I could be completely wrong here, um, I believe they sold plants through Facebook marketplace and a bit off, um, like a business like a normal business but they didn't have an established premises so through um lockdown two uh, lockdown one sorry we saw a massive boom in the demand for plants which unfortunately on the back of that we've seen an increase in prices but we've seen a lot of people just discover their love for plants which is amazing so off the back of that i think she had so much success with the business that she um opened her own like actual physical shop and to see them close their doors for lockdown too was heartbreaking. And I, I don't often, <laughs> I don't often spend money. I actually don't often spend money, believe it or not. I usually can justify these because I do plant swaps or I, I sell plants and then the money I make from them, I just put to one side and I put towards the new plants. So I can justify this, but I don't often spend money. 
and I felt really, really good um, buying from them because they were, like I said, they were local, they were a small business, they were a new business and times are really, really tough right now. So I, I didn't feel guilty for buying so many plants. I actually felt like I was really helping, which was, it was nice. It was a nice, um, it was a nice feeling to know that I'm buying from someone like that and someone like the local market. I really enjoy buying from like local businesses and shops um, as well as lo like new businesses online because I think so many people have taken the plunge in starting their own business and it's hard, it's really hard. So I really hope other people can help support big box stores as you like to call them in America, um, like grocery shops, like food shops, all those places here. They, they seem to be sustaining themselves really well. Um, so I would definitely choose a local business and a small business over your local Morrisons. But I do get the price difference may be different with them. If you're buying in bulk, like if you're Tesco's and you're buying in bulk, your prices for your plants tend to be a bit cheaper. But yeah, I don't mind paying a little bit more when I know it's coming from somewhere that the heart's there, you know, they care, they care for the plants a bit more because they're focused on the plants. It's not, you know, just bringing in shipments because that's what they do, it's a supply chain. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I rambled on a bit at the end, but I felt really passionately about talking about the plant market because they, they had a really great service for me. And um, if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't like it, but I really hope you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed because it really, really helps my channel. I am one of those people now that I, I have this goal of a thousand subscribers. I'm kind of nearly, nearly at 700. And um, so it would mean, honestly, it would mean the world to me. So thank you in advance if you could subscribe and I will see you in my next one.